Hi, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to find the minimum marginal cost. This is just an application of finding the minimum in, the, in a real world setting. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to minimize the marginal cost. If the minimum marginal cost is given by the function c of x equals x squared minus 160x plus 7,500. So basically what we have here is a quadratic function. And the reason that I know that it is quadratic is because our highest degree is degree two. So if you have a quadratic function and it asks you to minimize the cost of something, um, what you're going to do is just find the x coordinate of the vertex. And the x coordinate of the vertex can be found by doing negative b over two a. So all we're going to do is an application problem of finding the vertex, um, which gives us the coordinates of the point of um, our parabola. So in here, just so that we know what everything represents, because when you do have an application problem, it's very important to have the context. Um, X represents the number of products produced in thousands. So when you're writing your answer, it's important to make sure that if you ended up with like 20 or five, that those represent in thousands. And C is the cost in dollars. This is also important because if you're um, working in Britain or something and you're dealing with the pound, you would use different symbols. Um, so it's always important to have the entire context of the problem. And so the first question asks us how many should be produced to minimize the cost. So this is actually talking about x, which is why I'm only finding the negative b over 2a. So with this, remember that our b term is the number that is in front of our linear term. So that's the negative 160 divided by 2 times my a term. And a is the value that is in front of x squared. In this case, since nothing is there, it's understood to be 1. I really don't even have to write it, but just so that you know what I plugged in for a. So if we simplify this, if I have negative negative 160 divided by 2, this is really 160 divided by 2, which is positive 80. And remember that this is thousands. So that tells us that to minimize cost, and it's always important to write a sentence, so to minimize the cost, you should produce 80,000. And this one does not tell us the context. It doesn't say what those particular things are, but that does not matter. Um, you're basically just going to um, figure out the min to minimize the cost, you should produce 80,000 of whatever you're making. It could be books, it could be toys, it could be um, bicycles, etc. It could be any product. It doesn't tell us. Um, so for the next part, what it's going to ask us to do is to actually find the minimum cost. And when you're finding the minimum cost, all that is saying is that we are going to use our cost function, which is c of x equals x squared minus 160x plus 7,500. I just wanted to rewrite it so that you could see what it was. To find the minimum cost, all this is saying is to take and plug in this value that we found here in for x. So we're just going to see what is our cost when we produce 80. And so we would plug this in. We would have 80 squared minus 160 times 80 plus 7,500. So if we work this out, um, we end up with $1,100. And so we would say that our minimum cost to produce 80,000 units is $1,100. So if you make more than 80,000, then you would have to pay more, the cost would increase, or if you make less than 80,000, your cost would also increase. So this is like that perfect value. Um, so the minimum cost to produce whatever this product is, is $1,100. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are other topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.